This video will focus on the application of Master Seal Traffic 2500. Master Seal Traffic 2500 is a two component chemical cure urethane used for both vehicular and pedestrian traffic applications. Packaging available in unitized kits. The system components are as follows Master Seal P255 Primer, a 3.4 gallon kit, Master Seal M265 Base Coat, a 4.66 gallon kit. Master Seal TC275 Intermediate and Top Coat, a 4.78 gallon kit, available in gray, charcoal, and black. Master Seal TC295 UV Intermediate and Top Coat, a 5 gallon kit, available in gray and charcoal. Having the proper equipment is essential for any successful traffic coating application. From squeegees to rollers, the recommended tools are shown here. Safety equipment is also very important, primarily gloves and eye protection. Shop blasting is the preferred and most recommended form of surface preparation. Shop blasting will abrade the surface to allow proper mechanical bond of any of the master seal traffic coating systems. There can be other acceptable means of surface preparation. Please contact your local BASF rep for prior approval. Whether pedestrian or vehicular traffic, cracks must be treated prior to coating application. Cracks a sixteenth of an inch or greater require routing, generally a quarter inch by quarter inch. Cracks less than a sixteenth of an inch will simply require a detail coat. When routing, the most commonly used tool is an angle grinder with a V-groove diamond blade. Once the cracks have been successfully routed, it's very important to remove all the loose dust remaining in the crack. Prior to installation of any joint sealant, it is important that the routed crack or joint is primed. Let the primer cure properly. Once tacky, but not coming up on your fingers, you are now ready for sealant application. Master Seal SL2 or MP2 are the most commonly used sealants. Master Seal SL1 and MP1 are also acceptable sealants. However, expect longer cure times prior to coating application. Master Seal SL2 Slope Grade or MP2 are the most commonly used sealants as it relates to traffic coatings. A bulk gun is most commonly used when using either SL2 or MP2. Whether using SL2 Slope Grade or MP2 Non Sag, it is important to strike the sealed cracks and joints flush. Wherever we have a horizontal to vertical transition, it's important to apply a cove bead of the same sealant. Both SL2 slope grade and MP2 will work in this application. Allow the sealant to cure a minimum of 24 hours. Depending on temperatures and conditions, that could be longer or shorter. Remember, cracks less than a 16th of an inch do not require routing and caulking. It will only require a 4 inch detail coat of 25 mils of the proper master seal base coat. Vertical transitions can also be considered a detail coat, especially in balcony applications. Apply 4 inches up the vertical face and 4 inches on the horizontal surface with the selected master seal base coat. When terminating the system on a horizontal surface, it is good practice to provide a termination cut. Approximately a quarter of an inch wide by an eighth of an inch deep is acceptable. Master seal 2500 utilizes two component technology. Part A and Part B are both contained in the same pail. Remove Part B from the inserted bladder, then remove and discard bladder. Pre-mix Part A using a low speed drill with a Jiffy style mixing paddle for two minutes. Then add contents of Part B and thoroughly mix for an additional three minutes, periodically scraping the sides for an even mix. Because the unitized kits are pre-measured by ratio, it is essential that full kits are mixed. Master Seal 2500 starts with the application of the primer, Master Seal P255. Once properly mixed and crew ready, steadily dump the material onto the surface. A flat squeegee is the best way to spread the material at the recommended coverage rate of 200 to 300 square feet per gallon, depending on the porosity of the substrate. Wearing spiked shoes, spread the material by pushing the squeegee at an angle, immediately followed by back rolling to help stretch the material. 9 inch or 18 inch rollers are typically used with a 3 8 inch thick nap. 
Primer should also be installed four inches up any vertical transition in the area to be coated. Allow primer to cure three to five hours depending on temperatures before application of base coat. This is important. Applied primer must be covered in the same working day with M265 base coat. Failure to cover primer within 24 hours of application may require a reprime. Consult your BASF rep for more direction and clarity regarding cure times. Once primer is properly cured, you're ready for the next step, application of Master Seal M265 base coat. Unlike the other components of the 2500 system, Master Seal M265 Part B is the large pail and Part A is the smaller can. Remove Part A from the inserted bladder, then remove and properly discard bladder. Premix Part B using a low speed drill and a jiffy style mixing paddle for two minutes. Then add contents of Part A and thoroughly mix for an additional three minutes, periodically scraping the sides for an even mix. Once properly mixed, steadily dump the material onto the surface. A quarter inch notched squeegee is the best way to spread the material at the recommended coverage rate of 60 square feet per gallon. Wearing spiked shoes, evenly spread the material by pushing the squeegee at an angle allowing the notches to help control proper coverage rates. Squeegees will wear over time and will need to be changed periodically depending on the size of your project. With the squeegee process now in progress, back rolling is the next step. Back rolling is required to help evenly distribute the material as well as breaking surface tension, minimizing micro air bubbles. Whether using a 9 inch or 18 inch roller, the thickness of the nap should be 3 8 inch or half inch and pre saturated just prior to actual back rolling process. It is recommended to back roll the opposite direction of the squeegee for even distribution. Using a wet mill gauge can help you measure the desired mill thickness. The recommended base coat coverage rate of 60 square feet per gallon will yield an average of 25 wet mills. See the Master Seal 2500 data guide for coverage rate conversions. Once the M265 base coat has been properly applied, allow to cure a minimum of 3 to 5 hours prior to intermediate and or top coat application. The applied base coat provides the primary source of waterproofing in the Master Seal Traffic 2500 system. To complete the system application, there are three levels of protection depending on the intended traffic use. In all three applications, we will be using Master Seal 941 sand aggregate as part of the system. Light to medium duty, parking stalls, balconies, plazas, and stadium applications. Heavy duty, drive lanes, mechanical rooms, and loading docks. Extra heavy duty, turn lanes, and exit entrance ramps. Regardless of the level of protection, we will now be using the Master Seal TC275 and or TC295 UV for intermediate and or top coats. We will also be using sand aggregate to provide skid and slip resistance to the selected system. Mixing is again similar to the process of the primer and base coat material. TC295 UV should be used on all surfaces exposed to direct sunlight. TC275 will discolor when exposed to sunlight but can still be used as an intermediate coat or top coat when protected from UV. In a light to medium duty application, just one top coat is required anywhere from 80 to 100 square feet per gallon. This is also achieved by using the proper notch squeegee for the desired wet mill thickness, followed again by back rolling. However, after initial back rolling, sand aggregate is broadcast into the wet coating at rates ranging from 15 to 20 pounds per 100 square feet, depending on the thickness of the applied material. Master Seal 941 sand aggregate is recommended. Other outsourced sand aggregates may be acceptable but should be approved by your local BASF rep prior to use. After sand aggregate is evenly dispersed by hand or mechanical spreader into the wet coating, immediately back roll again to encapsulate the sand aggregate and achieve the desired finished texture. When light to medium application is completed, allow 24 to 48 hours of cure before opening to traffic. If used as an intermediate coat, allow 4 to 8 hours before application of next coat. In a heavy duty application, an additional coat of TC275 or TC295 UV top coat will be required to provide better protection against heavier traffic. This application may also change the way sand aggregate is broadcasted into the intermediate coat. There are three different means and methods when distributing sand aggregate in a heavy or extra heavy duty system. Sand back roll, beach, or sand to refusal. Sand back roll method. 
It's what we did in the light duty application, but repeating it a second time to make it a heavy duty application. Beach method, exactly what it sounds like, covering the wet intermediate coat completely with sand aggregate. This method requires extensive sweeping and blowing to remove all loose sand aggregate after sufficient cure of coating. Sand to refusal method, much like the beach method at first, instead a gas powered blower is introduced to help push the loose sand aggregate into the wet applied intermediate coat. This will eliminate the need for extensive sweeping which can help make your project more profitable. Regardless of the means and methods of sand aggregate distribution, the thickness of the TC275 or TC295 UV as an intermediate coat can be referenced in the Master Seal 2500 data guide or the project specifications, typically ranging from 80 to 100 square feet per gallon, which is equal to 20 to 15 wet mills depending on desired traffic protection. Extra heavy duty does not mean an additional coat of material. We are just going to adjust the coverage rates and add mill thickness to the intermediate and top coast to provide even more traffic protection, 60 to 80 square feet per gallon, depending on the specification or intended traffic. Whether the system is heavy duty or extra heavy duty, allow the intermediate coat to cure approximately four to eight hours, depending on temperatures, and be sure all loose sand aggregate is removed. You are now ready for the finished coat. Properly mix and apply TC275 or TC295 UV top coat using a flat squeegee. Lightly broadcast sand aggregate into the wet coating and finish by back rolling to encapsulate and complete the Master Seal Traffic 2500 system. Allow 24 to 48 hours of cure before opening the traffic. This completes the application of Master Seal Traffic 2500. For more information, please visit our website or contact your local BASF sales rep. Master Builder Solutions from BASF. We create chemistry.